Okay, I just got this new massage gun from Bob and Brad. Um, it's a C2 mini massage gun. Haven't even opened it yet, so let's open it up. Look, see what it's about. So far, this looks like an amazing case. So especially if you're gonna be going to different places and it's a hard case too. So that will definitely be beneficial whenever you're bringing things around. And what I like about this so far is you can fit everything in here, plus you can fit other things in this case too. So um, if you need to bring anything else with you, you do that. And this only feels like a few pounds. And here are the adapters. These, I've seen these kind of adapters. There's only a few places that these are more acceptable, right around the hand area. Go right around here. And it's a little bit hard, as you can see, on other areas. But you can definitely get it in the fingers and the hand area a lot more. And this is, it has just a little bit of a give. This one uh, for definitely, if you're doing more like trigger point therapy, more um, isolated area, this is gonna be more beneficial. And this one, this is totally hard too. So again, this one will give a little bit. This one gives just barely, but these three are the ones that are hard then. And it does come with a USB charging cable. So just a different adapter there. And this is the user manual. So what I notice already is this is a lot thicker and a lot bigger than most I've seen for the user manual. So it kind of gives you an idea where you can massage different areas with the different kind of tools. But I myself, I'm a little skeptic about going to the side of the spine with this, um, with this one right here. But again, if you're going to do it, just make sure you're doing slow. And um, what I basically do is, when you're doing this, you can even place your hand on the body when you're doing it, just to make sure that it's not going to move around too much and hit the vertebrae then. So again, here's different areas. And then here's the different kind of strength. So once we turn it on, the 25, 50, 75, or 100%. And it's a different language too then. As you can see, it's kind of broken down what what language. So most of them I've seen don't have it in different languages. So a lot of times they'll just have one or two languages and that's it then. And then when flashing means the battery is running low to, um, to less than 10%. And the speed is 2,000 to 3,200. Rate of power, um, 25 watts. Rate of voltage, 7.4. Battery capacity, 2,500. And charging time, um, 210 minutes then. 
And it does, as you can see, it comes with a one, one year warranty from the date of purchase. Honestly, a lot of them don't. So this is a very beneficial um, if you want to try it out and let's say it's not working after a while. Um, and then damage due to improper usage their storage. Um, so, and warranty would be voided only if these things. So damage by attempting to repair or dissemble the device. So again, if something's not working, make sure you contact, contact the company then. Um, after 10 minutes of uh, operation, the device automatically turns off. So that's nice because um, let's say you get distracted and you have to go do something real quick, it'll automatically turn off after 10 minutes. So that's a big, huge safety. Um, then turning the device on and off, press and hold the power button for two seconds. And to change the percussion massage um, frequency, the device is on, press the um, button. So here's the charging port, as you can see here. The gear indicator, different ones here. Okay, let me turn it on. Okay, that's low. A little higher. A little higher. A little bit higher. And this handle, it's really smooth and it fits in and it's not really heavy because if you are gonna use it for 10 minutes on somebody, um, you don't want it too heavy, that's the thing. So it's very compatible, um, especially if you're using it like in a treatment room or just using it on for yourself then. So then it just automatically turns off. And here's the power. So again, it's gonna blink when it's um, under 10% of power left then. So just be aware of that then. And then it's totally off. So let me just increase it. It feels good. I can control it too, pretty good. Let me increase it another notch. Still good. But as you can see, I can easily still massage and switch it this way too then. And then there's uh, the highest one. Then again, to turn it off, press, hold. Then it just pops off then. So put this one on, try this one out. So as you can see, this is a little bit wider area. So especially for the back, the quads, the hamstring area, would be very beneficial. And it, I'm not, I don't have any lotion or cream or oil on, but it's sliding really nice. Try this one out. This one honestly slides even better than the other one. Let me try this one. This one slides pretty good too. So again, this one slides really good. This one slides, this one slides pretty good. 
This one I re wouldn't recommend sliding just because it's more for isolated areas, um, especially if you're in the glute area if you need a little bit more pressure. Now I'm going to try this one. So this works really nice for this area, especially us as massage therapists. It's beneficial to help loosen up your hands. And just because there's more bone here, it doesn't feel as great. So let me just try. This is a little bit better, but it's still just because there's more bone there, but not ideal to do it on this side. But it feels really good in the palm area. So again, it's still on and then you can press and hold and then it'll t totally turn off then. So these are all the different kind of things it comes with. Rated power, like I talked about earlier and battery capacity. Nice thing is they actually have a phone number you can even call. Their website, the hours of operation. So again, this is where you charge the port. So this I would definitely highly recommend just because it is very comfortable to change the speeds because that's what I'm looking for because I don't want to have use my other hand to change the speeds. So you can easily change it that way then. And it turns on and turns off um, really easy too. And again, all these different areas that you can put devices. This goes nicely in here. So again, it's not too heavy, nice carrying case. Again, you can have other things in here. Um, so so some some cases I've seen everything fits in there too tight and it's hard to put anything in there. But again, with this one, you can easily put other things in there if you want because there's some space to put things in there then too. So I would highly recommend this. Give it a shot. Um, they do have, um, you can purchase on Amazon and I'll post a link in below. Um, for a discount code to that.